Hi, everybody. How you doing? I hope that you're having yourselves a good day. I, uh, I'm having myself a pretty good day. Let's rock this intro from our little Miss Summer Savage, shall we? It's time to go live. It's time to go live. It's time to go live. It's time to go beedly boop boop live. Can you tell that I don't listen to those before I play them? <laughs> I just don't. Um, and she never disappoints. And, and I know she said that she was going to knock out. She's got a busy day ahead of her tomorrow, but um, it was amazing. And so some, if you're catching this on replay crew, well done, babe. Ah, oh, yeah, you've got a lot more than Tata's Miss Sunrise Dawn. It has been a really productive day. <laughs> it's been an insanely productive day. I can't believe how productive it was today. It's It's been bonkers. Um, I uploaded three new emojis. Thanks always to the queen of the emoji game, nay, empress, goddess of the emoji game, Ms. Maz, our Miss Marilyn Honig, Mrs. Marilyn Honig from Coffee Cults and Crafts. She rocks my world on a regular basis and Sometimes she does it simply by whipping up some emojis that she thinks I'm going to need. I didn't even ask her for one of them. I sent her photos for both of the Ella ones, but I didn't ask her for the, for the extra one. She just decided that I needed it. And who am I to say no? So I put it in there. So I figured out where to upload those because y'all. Like, seriously, when you ask me where I'm supposed to find things to take people out of being blocked that I accidentally blocked, or um, if I'm trying to find where to upload new emojis, par exemple, um, I, I don't, I'm, yeah, I'm bad at that, but I did the thing. I also got myself uh, uh, another level of learning with a vendor, and I mailed off some quotes, and I booked another YouTube creator for the cruise. Guess who's coming with us? Let's say hi to some people. Miss Pamela S.P. Butterfly is here. Hi, good to see you. Look at you all first in. We love it. Tambor June is here. You're having a rough one, babe, but you know what? We're here for you, and I'm really glad that you're hanging in. Let us know how we can help. Here's Brian Lucas. We missed him last night. Missed it by that much. Just, just barely missed Brian Lucas last night, but you know what? He was kind of probably worn out after that um, hard-hitting interview with with uh, Kelly at SPTV Never Ends. Sophia's here. Good to see you, Sophia. Good morning to you. Miss Sunrise Dawn is getting them out. Very nice. Alan Ballantyne. Hey, hey. Yeehaw, says Hef. And uh, Anne Casillas loves summer's opening tunes, as do I. And it's it's always different every night. You guys, guess who's back, 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 back again, again, again. Hardman's back, 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 
to love friend. I am so happy that you're back, Mark Hardman. How was your first week at work? He says, oh my God, I've missed you, Cricket. The replays are great, but they do not compare to interacting with you in the dirty stay-ups. You know what? That is the absolute truth. It absolutely is. We are so glad that you're back. Jenna G is here. Hi, hey, girl. Oh, and speaking of the goddess herself, Ms. Maz, she's here. Oh my gosh. Look at all these people. So happy to see Mark. You've been busy, babe. Hi, y'all. Hey, Miss Susie Overholtz. I'm so happy you're here. How you doing, babe? And rocking it out for life. Kim D. Hi. Hey, hey, checking in. It's the weekend. Bet your ass it is. It is. It is. I just put something in the mail today to my friend who lives up in hashtag not actually my kid hashtag but actually my kid. Um, yeah, sent her a couple of things up there in the Hibs. So, uh, and I am glad to hear from you. We've been worried about you. You've been sparse around here. Jenna G is catching up on chipmunk speed and Fred Pam Fredette is here. Hello, Pam Fredette. We are happy to see ya. Yes, Miss Sunrise Dawn. Yes. Yes, you can emoji my angry Ella, 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 eh, eh, eh. Emoji my angry Ella, 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 eh, eh, eh. Diana S., hello. Happy Friday. Good to see you, Ms. Rosalind. Yes, Mrs. Maz, Rosalind. I messed up, but I everybody's Ms. to me. It just happens. No disrespect to Dunk. It just happens. It's just how it flies out of my face. I'm terribly sorry. Oh, look. LK LKF is here. Rock on, baby. Good to see you. And Cassius is saying, hot damn, Cricket. Ah, yeah. And that ain't even all of it. Yes. Yes, girl. Yeah, I am. <laughs> oh, Maz knows. Maz knows. She knows who's coming. They just messaged her and she's so excited. Judy Lee is here. Hi, Judy Lee. I'm so happy you're here. Welcome back. What else we got? Who else is saying? Oh, Barbara. Yay. It's Barbara. You guys. What a great night it is. We get Mark Hardman. We get Barbara. We get Maz. Y'all. We have got some all stars up in this piece tonight. And I am so happy. I'm so happy right now. Like my face actually kind of hurts a little bit from the smiling. That's how happy I am. It's fucking weird. Oh yeah. Yeah. We're going to TGIF tonight because yesterday was S H I T. So happy it's Thursday. And yeah, we gone TGIF right about now. Grab whatever it is in which you are indulging. And that could be water. It could be an adult beverage, if that's your thing. It could be dried flour that you then light on fire and inhale the smoke from. It could be a potato chip. It could be a cookie. So whatever it is in which you are indulging, let us partake. Z Cheers, y'all. Happy Friday.
Well, look at who is here two nights in a row. Mischief managed. Check you out. Oh my goodness. Look at all these happy, happy people in the chat. I love it. Kimberly Gabaldon is here. Of course she is. Because she's the best. Oh, Pamela S.P. Butterfly. I unlocked a new location. I'm in Eugene, Oregon, visiting the in-laws. Well, rock on with your bad self, Pamela. Did you bring them your hand-braided challah? I bet it's delicious. Barbara knows who's going. LKF. Hi, everyone I missed. Oh, Gretchen. Hey, Gretchen. We're so happy to see you, ma'am. Also, I sent you a thing with the emails today about the thing that you're wanting to know about. I did. I sent you an email. Yep, I will tell you. I will tell you. I just want to get caught up on the chat soon. But yeah, I'll be telling everybody because I've received permission to do so. Wait, is it K-R? No, it's not Miss Sunrise Dawn. I don't know who that is. It ain't that person, though. Oh, I'm fully of the opinion that if there isn't a married term for men, Mr. versus Mr., then having one for women is fucking stupid. Rosalind? Yes. I agree with that wholeheartedly. Yes, I do. It is not Miss Sunrise Dawn. She's got some other stuff going on. So it's not her. You had 69 in your chat today. You nearly pooped yourself. I had 79 in mine last night. I had 79 viewers last night. That doesn't happen unless I have a guest. It was crazy. It was, it was, as Nora would say, it was crazy doodles. Um, and honestly, I can totally get behind the idea of adding doodles on the end of just about anything to make it sound better, because it does. Wait, is Sandy Wandy in here too? There she is! Sandy Wandy! Oh, tonight is just getting better, y'all. No, no. Hef, it is not Kelly Copter. It is not. Hello, Anique. Good to see you. Okay, let's see. Jenna G says, I just caught mouse number seven in my house. It's spring. I live in a log house and I'm surrounded by grain fields. I cannot win. Yeah, you, you may as well just cede the territory right now to them because, or, or just become inured to the fact that you're going to have tiny furry roommates with little beady eyes, but they're going to be so cute. I don't know what to tell you. We have them in our garage as well, and we do our best to make sure that they are not injured in any way by our hand, but sometimes they are somewhat foolish. Um, but we try, we try. You know, I mean, we all got to coexist, right? Kim D. High is saying instant coffee with caramel syrup. I mean, I'm not mad at that. That sounds amazing. Anique, just popping in to say hello to you, Cricket, and to all the dirty stay-ups. Hello, Anique. We're so happy you're here. Ooh. Y'all are so far behind me with the Xeno Marlene's Rosalind. Oh, my goodness. Marion M. Bays is here. Hi. Welcome back. We're happy you're here. Guys, she was pre-gaming. I'm fairly certain she was pre-gaming. I ain't saying. I'm just saying. No, I'm saying. Mark Hardman is indulging in, ooh, 
Ooh, sharp cheddar cheese cubes on Ritz crackers. Yum. Everything fits when it shits on a Ritz. But you got to tell us, you're saying this sharp cheddar cheese, but is this like the cheese that you get from your cheese pusher? Or is this just standard like grocery store sharp cheddar kind of thing? We need to know. Marion is sending hugs from the UK. Tampa B-Man is sending love for cheese. Paulo Henrique Rodriguez Vanconcelos. Good evening, friend. Buena noche. Tambor. What do we got? Had therapy for the first time since two weeks before my mom passed. So that was loads of talking, but it was great to talk to her and just get it all out. Good for you. God, I imagine that was super hard and really exhausting. And you had to have been drained afterwards. But you know what? I'm proud of you. Good job. You did the thing. And you're taking care of you. And that is so important. Yes, please. If y'all would be so kind as to smash that like button consensually. It wants to be smashed. Um, Smash that like button. Or the dislike button, whichever you choose. I'm cool with either one. I mean, but there's... From what I can see, 53 people in here and only 22 likes. So, um, yeah, if you could hit that button, that would be amazing. And I would appreciate it so much. It is not Kelly. Not yet, at least. But it is someone else we love. Yes, Maz is correct on that. And F is becoming impatient. <laughs> Kimberly's like, come on, Cricket, spill it. Nope. Gotta get caught up first. Yes, you had challah and minestrone soup for supper. Heading to Newport tomorrow for family day at the Hatfield Marine Station. Pamela SP Butterflies, that sounds amazing. That sounds really amazing. Work was good. I need to adjust when I take my psych meds so that I'm not drowsy all day. That's fair. That's fair, Mark Hardman. But you know what? I am so happy for you. You like Mix Maz better than Mrs.? Okay, good to know. I need to borrow someone's cat for mouse control. I don't have any that I can loan you, unfortunately. It is not Susie Hef. It is not. Oh yeah, Miss Sunrise Dawn. Janet, Miss Sunrise Dawn has literally 14 cats. She can probably loan you a couple of them to, to handle the mouse duty. Barbara says, I was watching last night, only able to listen. Okay, that's fair. Hey, there's Jen. Hey, Jen. Good to see ya. Are you home? I bet you're happy to be home if you are. We are Marla Dillard. We are talking cruise surprise. Yes, we are. Good use of the new emoji. Well done. And Kim White is here. Yay! Hello, hello to you right back at you. Marsha Smith, hello and welcome back. Just arrived. You're live. And that rhymes. You're a poet and you didn't know it but your feet show it. They're long fellows. <laughs> Ooh. Hatch out a bunch of baby bull snakes and turn them loose in the yard. Well, that would help. Yeah. A lot of people do not have the kind of strong constitution for the reptiles that you do, though, Kimberly. Speaking of which, I'm still keeping Yamaya in my thoughts constantly. So if she allows herself to be snuggled, please give her snuggles from me.
my motto is more on the lines of encourage evolution that does not involve coming into my house. I mean, that's fair. Can't get mad at that. Rosalind was totally pre-gaming and that's okay. I'm all right with that. Yeah, we do need to catch up. Oh, Hef needs squeeze cheese on a bugle. I mean, okay. Oh, Kim, you have no idea about the cheese hookup that Mark Hardman has. He has a cheese pusher that sells him like seven-year-old aged cheddar. He's got a cheese pusher that doesn't play. But yeah, let us Zenu Marlene and catch up with Rosalind because she was very clearly pre-gaming and she admits it. So cheers, y'all. Mm. Rosalind says, tell me more of this sharp cheddar. Is it coastal in nature or did it Tillamook into your life? Those Tillamooks are in sneaky little insidious bastards, too. Tamber June is getting the good stuff for this, Zenu Marlene. Good job. I approve. Oh, shit. Shots fired. Mark Hardman, because if we're going to talk cheese, I have to make sure that Maz knows Wisconsin cheddar wins over Vermont cheddar. She's snapping. Shots fired. Hey, Flamin' Jackson. Welcome. We're happy you're here. Okay, we only have half likes or dislikes. Please hit a button, y'all. Any engagement. Oh, my God. Did I just burp on the stream? Any engagement is good engagement. So bring it on. Mischief Managed is in the market for a good cheese dealer. Ooh. Om nom. On cheese, I have a Greek sheep milk feta in my fridge. You know, I turned down Spanakopita today at the fancy ass market because they didn't have a listing of how many carbs was in each serving. Mark Hardman says, my cheese is H-E-B brand. Heb. But you do remind me that I need to place an order with my Wisconsin cheesemonger. They now have 17-year-old aged cheddar. And I think I just came in my mouth a little bit. That sounds amazing. Judy Lee seriously needs a cheese dealer, like a drive-by dealer. That would make her so happy. Chocolate, too. Yes. Anik, you consensually smashed that like button. Thank you so much. Dawn Gloves thinks this is fun on Roadrunner Speed. Rosalind has pre-gamed and pre-liked. Y'all are so behind. I know I am. It's ridiculous. I'm like six whole minutes behind. 17-year-old cheddar will be just all crystals. I don't know, Gretchen. This is a Wisconsin cheesemonger. They know what they're doing. Flamin' Jackson loves us all, and we love you right back, honey. Artsy Tartsy is here. Ooh, ooh. Chocolate Parmesan cheese treats. I'm not sure how I feel about that, Kim. It's called Walmart delivery for cheese. My husband actually got me my own real cheese, not the lactose free plastic stuff. I cannot get behind that plastic shit. Mm -mm. Can't do it. Autocock rocket. Maz got hit by autocock rocket. 
Is it Spanked Calhoun, Marla Dillard? It is not. I'm still waiting to hear whether or not Spanks is going to join us. We would love to have him along. We would love to have him along. And honestly, not even in a dirty way, I would invite that man to my cabin because I am going to be at like peak stress levels trying to make sure that everybody is all taken care of. I would invite that man to my cabin to read me a bedtime story and then just tiptoe out after I fell asleep. Like nothing dirty. I don't cast. I, I, I'm I not making any kind of assumptions or anything. I would literally want like 20, 30 minutes of time to just tell me a bedtime story while I fell asleep listening to the, the dulcet tones of that guy's voice. And then I could knock out. I wouldn't touch the dude. I'm not trying to make Tommy think like he's got to be scarred bringing his son on board. But seriously, I would love to have him with us. I guess he's still kind of wobbling with it. There are there are choices that need to be made. Yes, Aldi does have good cheese, Judy Lee. Absolutely. And we're in a place that doesn't um that doesn't have Trader Joe's. And Trader Joe's is pretty damn good for the cheeses as well. But Marion Ann Bays has six snakes. We love that. We had a Jack Russell that was effective as fuck against mice. But then again, he was more cat than dog anyway. Fair enough. I've had cats that were more dog than cat. Zedward, the amazing puppy cat, being just one. I've got to take Kelly to a place called Pownal View Barn for cheese. Nice. <gasps> Yay! Hi, Seventh. Yamaya shed in almost one perfect piece yesterday, thawing out some more food for her. Oh, I love her. Seventh is here, and we love it. Hello, Seventh. Hef doesn't dig the stinky cheese. Not the Limburger, not the Fontina, not the Famunda. She's not into it. Judy Lee, she loves squirt cheese on bugles, too. Yeah, spray cheese in a can? Oh, yeah. Sometimes you just gotta. Miss Sunrise Dawn, I'm not even able to go on the cruise and I still want to know. Kimberly Gabaldon will eat just about any cheese and Gretchen needs to know who Mark's cheesemonger is. I mean, Mark, seriously, send me an email with contact information for this cheesemonger so that we can get them more business. And we will tell him or her that we heard about them from you and maybe when you place your next order you're gonna get a little some sum from it that's what i'm saying english cheese is the best did you know that cheddar cheese can only be made in one place to be officially cheddar cheese it's in cheddar in the uk i was not aware and now I know. I've learned a thing. We love it. Do you get the feeling that cricket is delaying? I am not. I'm just trying to get caught up on the chat. <laughs> Flamin' Jackson loves cheese. Jenna G makes a mean, amazing Spanakopita. Lord Kiss Freak loves cheese way too much. And Mischief Manage says, mmm, cheese. Tampa Bee Man says cheese and fries are my two favorite food groups. I love when you combine them together. Ooh. I've got some nice Gruyere that I'm saving for a fondue party and out of cheese. Other than that, that is sad. I'm so sorry, Kimberly, but I'm glad you've got that Gruyere. Good evening, says Hanger Sacto. 
Next to bacon, cheese is life. Yeah, very much. Peter Anderson, hello. Peanut butter or peanuts is irresistible to them things. Water bucket and a slide trap could work or just peanut flavored bait blocks. Okay, so he's trying to help you out with your mice problem. Hello, Peter Anderson. Good to see you. Yes. Yes, Lord Kiss Freak. Add gravy and you have a poutine. I love poutine. Yeah, Miss Sunrise Dawn, you know what? You're not Reese. You don't get to tell me to get my life together. Sophia's favorite farm shop has reasonable cheese now. We need to get new one again. Excellent. It is also a great food group. Cheese delivery. Rallies fries with cheese. Yeah, we don't we don't have rallies up here. Rosalind says, my great grandfather was a Wisconsin cheesemonger. Sadly, he made Limburger, but you don't fuck around with Wisconsin cheesemakers. That is the truth. Gretchen only with the guess. It is not a Aaron because he's still being whiny about it. Gardner's Wisconsin Cheese and Sausage Company. Writing that down. Kara says, hello, dirty stay up. I'm catching up on chick month speed, and I hope you're having some Chardonnay while you do it. Cheese and sausage. I'll look them up. I'm going to GTS that. It is not Pearl Snappy. I love all these guesses, though. I would love to have all of these people. Trader Joe's is owned by Aldi. Ah. Oh. I love it. Dawn Gloves would want Mr. Ballantyne to read to her. I think only if you can promise to be completely hands off and just enjoy the dulcet tones. I mean, possible. Big no on Fumunda cheese. Stilton cheese is good. I have had Stilton and I like it. It's like it's like blue cheese on steroids. Cheese mail, says Hanger Sacto. Jen, not going to hang around long tonight. Still feel like crap and still have to work tomorrow as well. Only one day off this week. All right, sweet pea. Well, get you some rest. Please, please. And, uh, ooh, smoked cheese. Lord Kiss Freak, you are not wrong on that. Ah, yum, yum, yum. Oh, I love cheese. No, it's not Poe. It is not Poe. He said he was trying to talk the wife into it, and I haven't heard anything after that. So, it is not Poe. Would Mark Hardman's cheesemonger like to sponsor a channel? <laughs> this channel is not sponsored by Gardner's Wisconsin Cheese and Sausage Company. Or Denny's, by that matter. Flaming Jackson loves smoked cheese. Dawn is trying to figure out StreamYard for reasons, and I think her, and she thinks her brain is starting to overheat. Oh, bless your precious, sweet little heart. I am so sorry. I don't use StreamYard. I've used it a couple of times only because that's what other people are using. Usually I use Restream because that's how I was brought into this in the first place. Um, blame dog. Bacon cheese sandwich. Um, nom nom with mayonnaise. I liked when they used to be real cheese. They used to take Colby, Swiss, and cheddar and blend them all together. Mmm, yum, yum, yum. Thank you, Seventh. That sounds amazing. Oh, Kimberly, the reason she's out of cheese is because she ate it all, so don't feel too sorry. You'd get sick of my accent. I swear you would. That's all right, Alan. You know what? You're going to wind up getting sick of our accents, too. 
were ridiculous. Everybody's ridiculous. And all of their accents are ridiculous. And I love them all. Gotta run lovely people, says Anique. Headache and low battery. Have a great night or day wherever you are. Thank you so much. Rest well. I hope that your headache fucks off into the forever. It is not Liz Gale. It is not Natalie and my Tony. St. George cheese from Portugal. Ooh, thank you, Heather McLaughlin. That sounds amazing. Grenache. Beautiful, beautiful Washington Grenache. Very nice. It is not Denver Stevo, says Kimberly Gabaldon. That was her guess. Cheap Velveeta is gross, but I love the real stuff. Fair enough, Judy Lee. Seventh. Thank you so much for your super chat. You did not miss night meds. It should be coming up in about 10-ish minutes. We tend to do night meds. 15 20 between 20 and 10 minutes before the top of the hour so you're still here and thank you so much for your super chat i appreciate that so much do 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 let's see hey cheap velveta the real stuff Zena marlene is so funny on chipmunk speed oh cara i bet it is it is not apostate Alex. People actually asked him about that last week in my chat. And he said that he got the feeling that he wasn't going to be super welcome. So he chose not to. Jazzy girl, Sarah. Hey, girl. Mrs. Colby cheese. Cannot find it there in Finland. I don't care what you think about mayonnaise, Lord Kiss Freak. I love it. I'm not yucking your yum. Don't yuck mine. It is not Lara FM, says that was Pamela SP Butterflies. Flamin' Jackson. I headed to bed. I love y'all so much. I'll catch the replay tomorrow, 2.36 a.m. here in West Virginia. Good night. Sleep sweet, Flamin' Jackson. Rest well. See, Lord Kiss Freak, I don't yuck your yum. Because I personally disagree with this combination. But you feel like you're going to trash mine? Rude. Rude, sir. It is not Confident Chris. It's not Jacob Harkey. I would love to have Jacob Harkey on board. It is not William Goode. Nothing better than an Australian male accent. Uh, except of, unless it's an Australian female accent. If Alex and Hef were together on one ship, I'm betting somebody's going overboard. No, because Hef will not throw things overboard into the sea. We're not allowed to do that. And Hef is a law-abiding citizen. It is not DOA, artsy-tartsy. Lori Plays, asks Marla Dillard. I'll tell you a secret, Marla. Lori's already booked. Jazzy Girl Sarah has a cold. It's not Tori Christman. Yeah, it's not Jacob Harkey. Did Maya get enough to ship Fred's painting to Reese? That's my question. Maya, did you get enough in your PayPal to ship Fred's painting to Reese? We need to know. And I know that Maya is half broken right now. The girl pulled a... She pulled a move that I previously thought I was the only one who could do such a thing, but she managed to do it and injured herself grievously. Um, so I don't know that I've seen her in here yet. Um, but she did say that what she got last night helped and I haven't heard from her since then. So hopefully fingers crossed she pops in tonight. Uh, is it Rabbit or Diane Edix? It is not Diana S. Please add string cheese. What the fuck? Alan, you've never had string cheese? I can't even. 
All right, it's added to Alan's list. Tori would be a hoot. Is it Dan Walks LA? It is not. DOA would have a huge SPTV spray painted on the side of the ship by the end of the cruise. You're not wrong. You're really not wrong. And Maz Autocock rocketed again. It is not Marisa. Mayo is another favorite food group of Barbara's. It is not Miriam. It is not Miriam. It's not Marisa. It's not Kelly Copter. It's not Tori Magoo. It's not Natalie. It is almost time. Oh, oh, oh. Hang on. Let me go up. Let me go up. Let me go up and find this again so that I can um, star it. We'll get back to that because somebody else guessed it. Gretchen, Maz has already booked. She's one of the first few people that booked. And Casillas. She got it. It is Feral Cheryl. She booked in tonight and she gave me permission. Hey, Joel McCoy, we're glad you're here. Welcome, welcome. I'm sorry you can't sleep, but I'm glad you decided to come and hang out with us. It's not Rabbit, Kimberly gabbled on. It's not one of the Liz's. It's not Stephanie Kim White. Yep, it's Feral Cheryl. Not Clearwater George. Treasure Rescue, a.k.a. Queen Bean. Hi, welcome. Yeah, it's Feral Cheryl, y'all. And she was so excited to hear of the people who were going. She's like, wait, who else is going? And so I'm like listing it off. And she said, you know, she's like, well, wait, is Aaron not booked in yet? I'm like, no, because of course he's not. She said, oh, I say I'm going to get on him. She will too. She will. I believe her. But I asked her permission, and she said that I could say it. So, Feral Cheryl is now officially booked in. She's made her deposit, and she's coming with us, y'all. <laughs> I'm so excited! It's going to be amazing, because she's hilarious, and we had such a good time on the phone tonight. We weren't even on the phone for super long, but we had such a good time on the phone. And uh, yeah, it's going to be amazing. It is going to be absolutely amazing. So yeah, we've got Feral Cheryl, y'all. And she really needs something to look forward to. And we are now, I believe, as of today, now that it's after midnight, 161 days away from the sailing. How good is that going to be? It's, oh my God. So incredible. What is my shirt anti-ing? Rosalind wants to know. Anti-mornings. I'm not into mornings. Yeah, Feral Cheryl is going through some shit right now. And uh, she's about to lose her pops. But he's also OT8. She's been taking care of him, but the nurses say it's a matter of days. So she really, really needs something to look forward to right now. 
And now she's got a cruise. With all of us crazy bitches, Hef, when I tell you that she was so excited to find out that you're on board, that woman is going to squeeze you. You are going to get the hugs from Cheryl like nobody's business. She absolutely adores you. And she's so excited that you're going to be on the ship. And she's excited for the night before in the hotel when we're all going to have a giant friggin' slumber party. She is so excited for all of it. I gave her a rough list of who's going and she's so happy right now. And she has something to look forward to. And she put her deposit down and feral Cheryl is going to be on that damn ship with us. I'm so happy right now. I'm so stinking happy right now. So yeah, that happened. And before we go too far past that, Seventh was asking, and we are here to provide because it is that time of night. Ladies and germs. For night meds, take your night meds. It's a modern pharmacology. Night meds, time for night meds. They can help your physiology. Take them well before you go to sleep. They work while you're busy counting sheep. When you take your night meds, it's a happy, healthy snooze time. A snorry snooze time. You'll have a sleepy time. Night meds. I almost said something completely different than sleepy. I almost said creepy. And I'm like, what the F? I don't know what's going on, but either way, sip first so the melatonin doesn't stick. And Sunshines is here. Hello, Sunshines. We're happy that you're here. Yes, Judy Lee, I do need to remind her to bring prom clothes. I was talking to somebody um, who booked yesterday. And she was asking about the prom thing. And I said, you know, the theme is basically dress your decade. But if you can't find something within your decade at your local Goodwill or wherever it is that you're getting, that you're shopping for inexpensive dresses, and you see a giant, floofy, sequined meringue of a quinceañera dress, and it fits you, get that shit and bring it with you. And this person lives in a place where there are lots of quinceañeras. So she was like, all right, okay, I hear you. So yeah, it's going to happen. It's going to happen. And uh, I need to remind Feral Cheryl. I don't know if they actually have proms the same way we do. Um, but yeah, I will. I'll be putting out the reminders to everybody that they need to bring prom clothes if they choose to show up. And it's okay, Half, you might be late to the slumber party. We're just going to be braiding each other's hair and talking about boys and doing, you know, stupid slumber party shit. Because there's literally like five males booked on the sailing. <laughs> Maybe six. <laughs> Not a whole lot of guys. At least in our group, which means that the rest of the people on the ship have no idea what they're in for. And we're going to Xenu Marlene to that, too. Yes, Pamela. 
I'm so glad Farrell Cheryl has something to look, something positive to look forward to. It's so important to have that when you're going through the tough stuff. Yeah. Yeah, she really needed it. And uh, she got so excited just when I replied to her first email today. She was super excited about that. I was like, damn, girl, okay. And uh, we had a great time on the phone tonight. And we've got her all booked in. I took my melatonin for the first time last night. Jeez, says Ellen Ballantyne. All right. Well, get on that, bro. I let Cheryl know she can call me anytime so she's not alone when it happens. Oh, bless you. Bless you, Barbara. Good for you. Laughs me. Yes, we can have a gay old time, especially if I'm there. <clears throat> well, I'll have a pan old time, but either way, we all going to be happy. So it is going to be a gay old time, no matter what. Sunshines wants to go to a prom. Yes. Yes, Barbara. It is my birthday. Um, Artsy Tartsy said it's her birthday the night before the cruise. Mine is, or the night before the slumber party. I don't know. But either way, mine's two nights before the slumber party. Because the slumber party's happening on the 20th. And then on the 21st, we all get on the ship. My birthday's on the 18th. Barbara's birthday is happening. There's a lot of September birthdays in this piece. It is happening. Alan on mel melatonin was hilarious, by the way. Good to know, Hef. Good time will be had by all, Janet G. I'm in 76. Jeans and a kiss t-shirt, as usual, it is. That's all right. I'm 73. I'm in 73. So. And when I was six. I had a kiss poster on my wall. And that was my choice. So there you go. Pam Fredette, who is going with us. Her birthday is on the 26th of September while we are bobbling along in the ocean. It's amazing. <sighs> Kara McAllister, bless your precious heart. Thank you so much for that super chat. Half is a law-abiding citizen. I am so going to hug that girl when we get to Miami. I mean, half, you are going to get squished. A lot of people are going to want to give you the squeezes, Hef. It's happening. And I am so happy to see it. All right, thing. Do your thing. How many nights into the cruise are you having a prom? I think I'm going to have it on the second formal night. Because that will give people to really time to like get to know each other and have a good time and blend and make the connections. And that way, by the time we have the prom, it's not going to be all aux and weird. I mean, any more than it would be, but yeah. Feral Cheryl on the loose on a big cruise ship. Damn right, Hef. It's going to be amazing. LKF turns 48 in less than a month. Aww. Cheryl's dad is OT8, but he's out, I assume. I don't know whether or not he's out. I think he's still hardcore. He's just getting ready to drop the body. Sunshine's yes, there is a slumber party too. 
because we're going to be meeting up in a hotel in Miami the night before the sailing so that people can get in in plenty of time and don't have to worry about morning flights and getting there um, too late or delays or any other bullshit. So a lot of people are going to be flying in the day before and we're all going to meet up at a hotel and it's going to be a party. Kara, I sipped first so the ice cube in the Chardonnay didn't stick. Because you're a professional. I appreciate that about you. Oh, to be 48 again. 48 again. Artsy Tartsy cannot even name one Kiss song. I can. Laughs Me was born in 76. Okay, very nice. There... You know, Maz, you are not wrong. There's going to be a really long half hug line. That is true. That is true. BRB dropping a kiddo's friend off home. Okay, cool. I love that that's happening and I love that everybody's being safe. Rock on, Dawn Gloves, RN, SP. May 11th, you start a new lap around the sun. Well, I'm writing that shit down. Libras are super cool after us Virgos. Fair, Barbara. Ooh, Kara's talking about putting half in handcuffs. Barbara, Cheryl's father thinks she's the reason he's sick. Fuck. Sunshines, where are you? What part of the world are you in? You guys make my ADHD go crazy because this is so much fun. Now I'm going to have a hard time sleeping, but I'm okay with it. Honey, we're here for you. That's why we're here late at night. Just tooting in, making burger and chips, singing, I was made, I was made for loving you, baby. Yes to your burger. Very nice. Everybody knows Gemini is the superior sign. Hey, we don't need to be swinging dicks like that, Hef. Have we decided on bracelets or someone else to meet everyone? I'm not really sure that we have, Pam, for that, but we'll figure some shit out. Sunshines, you're sitting in your lazy boy in Orlando. Okay. Well, you don't need a passport to go to Miami. I mean, in theory, you don't need a passport on the cruise, but I strongly recommend them. Very good friend of mine is in Orlando. And uh, she sent me a photo tonight. This is how you know that we're very good friends. Because... She helps animals. And this is the photo she sent me tonight. That is a baby raccoon. It's about six weeks old. And it's one of the cutest fucking things I've ever seen in my life. And we did a video call tonight so that I could meet the baby. And I was absolutely flattened because he was making the noises, the little churr noises. And I love him 
and nobody knows where his mama is and he's about six weeks old and I'm dying. I'm dying because he's so stinking cute and he needs love. And so he's overnighting at my friend's place. I've known her since I was like 15. Um, oh, no, he did the noises, Char Michael. Yes, he did. Yep. Yep. Churred right when I was on the, on the screen with her. But yeah, we did a video call tonight. She's overnight. The, the little one is overnighting at her place. And I wish we could. And could see, yes, I wish we could. I would love to take that baby on the cruise with us. Um, but yeah, we, uh, we did a video call tonight so that I could meet the baby and he's overnighting with her until she can get the baby to uh, a professional rehabber in the morning so that uh, he can be well taken care of before he's released back into the wild. And the person that she's giving him over to is uh, she has another baby of the pretty much exact same age so they can help teach each other how to raccoon. Aww. Hey, Michelle Haug. Good to see you. I hear that raccoon trill outside every night all summer. We have a mama raccoon who brings her babies to raid the mulberry tree every night. Oh, God. I love them so much. Maya's feeling much better. Good. But darn, it hurts. I didn't give them details. I just said that you pulled a move that was worthy of something that I would do. You just took your painkillers. Uh, Anne Cassie, yes, wants to know if you had, if you received the PayPal that she sent you last night. And I know that Mark Hardman was also asking if you've received enough yet to make sure that you can uh, send that painting to Reese. I took care of my mom until she passed in 09, even though she was very abusive, but I needed to do that for me. Well done, Pam Fredette. Good job on you. Raccoons are so insanely smart that if you found a pup, you'd wind up with an awesome and highly destructive pet. They can be. They sure can be. They're very smart. And they're very silly. And I love them. Checking now. Okay, thank you, Maya. Pam Fredette, your dad's been, dad's been gone 45 years. Miss him always. That's fair. Since we've been going for an hour now, and there's 61 people in here. Oh, Barbara says, I'm just going to be listening. My fingers say good night. Well, good night to you, sweet pea. Rest well, my love. Sleep sweet. And I hope to hear from you tomorrow. Mark, Anne, and Kristen, a lot of people sent you. Maya, is that enough to cover the shipping? That's what we want to know. Inquiring minds want to know. Is that enough to cover the shipping, what you've received? Any metal fans in here, Lord Kiss Freak, Kara knows you are. There's, I, I think there are a number of metal fans in here. Me, I'm a fan of just about everything. Artsy Tartsy's a metal fan. Yeah. I, I listen to just about every music genre that there is. Maya says, yes, stop now. 
stop now. She has enough. And she's probably going to get really embarrassed if more comes in. So, um, that's awesome. And I'm really glad because I fired off a package to Reese today. And I fired off an early birthday envelope to somebody in this chat room who shall remain unnamed. And, um, and I sent off a parcel to hashtag not actually my kid, hashtag but actually my kid. And Casillas, I'm out to be well, everyone. Love to you all and to the cruise goddess. Thank you so much, Anne Casillas. Buena noche. Vaya con Dios. Vaya con queso. I'm so happy that you hang out here. Be well, sweetheart. Sophia says, I would go into a crowd for Vakken. I love metal. Okay, good. Kim White, God, I really hate this cult. Why are these idiots effing around with all this nonsense when we should all be working toward the same goal? That's a good question, Kim. That is a really good question. Let's see. Current KK total. Oh, good. She cracked 12 grand. I'm really glad. $12,010 out of 15000 Listen, if you want to uh, contribute to KK's burial and, and funeral costs down there in the description box is the link for the GoFundMe to help with KK's funeral costs. She was... Uh, a staunch protester of Scientology, and she was taken from us far too soon. So if you feel like contributing, it's right there. If you feel like booking your Zenu Marlene cruise, my email address is down below in the description box, and we would love to have you along with us, especially now that we know that Ms. Farrell Cheryl is coming along too. It's going to be absolute madness. Do I get some quick for my birthday? I will do my best to send you some quick for your birthday, Lord Kiss Freak. I've got it written down. So I'm going to a metal concert in Vegas with my daughter at the end of April. It's called Sick New World. I'm excited, but also worried my old ass won't be able to hang. Kara. I know what your daughter is named. You ain't that old. You can hang. I believe in you. You may hurt at the end of it, but I believe in you. Kristen with a C. Hello, late again and still trying to catch up. We'll be listening in the background. Just wanted to say hello and sleep well, everyone. Well, you rest well, too. I'm glad you're here. Okay, so in the pork panko breading for the keto scotch egg, so good. I will always go with that queso. Nice. That sounds amazing, Rosalind. I don't know what you missed, Michelle Haug. We've been all over the damn place. Zinu Marlene, y'all. Zinu Marlene. Maya says, I'm not sure exactly how much the shipping will be, but from experience on my earlier shipping, it should cover it. And I will buy some Norwegian chocolate for her too. And she will love that, Maya. But seriously, she's going to lose her shit about that painting. No lie. Cricket still your... Sin Cricks? Since you're still booking, I'll mention it on my streams if you like. Yes, 
please. Because I got the deposit date extended out until April 24th. So they are welcome to book between now and April 24th. As long as there are cabins available, we can get them group rates. Tell them to get in touch with me. I would love to have them. The more the merrier. I blocked off initially 45 cabins. I now have 37 booked. Get me seven more cabins. Because you got to have goals. Oh, God, I would love to have Blow Drill and George, Kristen with a C. But George can't make it because he's got teenagers. Although, from what I understand, Feral Cheryl is not going to be hearing that. So she's going to get on his case. Um, I haven't had any, you know, other than in chat rooms, I haven't really had any communications with Blow Drill, and I love him. I think he is an absolutely delightful human being. And I was really riled up about the way that he was treated in a chat room recently, and it bothered me a lot. But honestly, I have no idea how to get in touch with him. And it almost would have felt a little pandery if I did, because I wasn't part of that. And I apologized for it afterwards, um, but it bothered me a lot. And the content creator in whose chat it happened knows how much it bothered me. And I have mad respect for Dylan and sadly I haven't had any actual person to person conversations with him. So Kara, you almost died at warp tour with your kids. Okay. Fair enough. Hi doc. Good to see ya. Danny and Leah are in the Florida Panhandle. Fantastic. Good. So they'll be in Clearwater by tomorrow. All right. What's happening here? Craziness. Craziness is happening. Something's going ting ting. All right. What do we got? Oh, you guys. It's the Mona fix. We need Mona. We love her. Look at that sweet face. She's such a good girl. We love Mona. All right. And LKF sent me something. Oh, my Lord. Lord Kiss Freak is no joke. He even has a full set of Kiss Kiss. Pez dispensers. I called them Kiz. What is wrong with me? Because Pez. Kiz Pez dispensers. Yep. That's how that goes. And, oh my goodness. Aw, Phil! You guys. Brian Lucas sent us a photo of Phil. Having a little nap. We love Phil. Ah, oh, yes. April 24th, Maz. Now last night's rant makes more sense now. That's part of it, Brian. That's part of it. We do love Mona. Blow Drill is a sweetheart. I wish he could go. Not sure because he's got his kiddos full time. Yes. Yes, Maz. That's part of it. That's part of it. And it's part of the, the complications with... Um, Clearwater George as well. 
Yes, Miss Sunrise Dawn, I saw that he is reaching out to to uh, blow drill. Um, and I'm glad to hear it. Yeah, we had we had some chats. So I said it was a really productive day, and I was not kidding. Yes, first, we Zeno Marlene to all of the lovely pets in our lives. Cheers. I see what you're saying, Miss Sunrise Dawn, and I appreciate that. I know, Rosalind, right? They can just do it online for the boat. Or they can find somebody to hang out with them while they go to school and their parents get a much needed break. I don't know. I'm just saying. Anyway. Zena Marlene to pets. But I did another thing. And amazingly, it's going to be a tax write-off. Can you guess? Can you guess what I did? I got a P.O. box. I did it today. So everybody who's been asking for my address, where I've been like, mm, I don't know, I'm not really comfortable with that right now. I got a P.O. box. It'll be down in the description box. It's also here on my sign. Now you can reach me via P.O. Box. It wasn't, it wasn't cheap by any means, but I did it because I just got my very, hi, retired red. I just got my very first commission check for the new business. And today, when I sent out stuff, I did the thing. I did the thing. So now I feel like even more freaking legit. It's kind of crazy. I don't know how I feel about it, but you know what was fun? Was seeing Mrs. Cricket's mom look over at me in the post office and go, that's really smart. Gosh, I'm so glad you're, that's, you're being really safe about this. That's so smart. So I did a smart thing. And uh, the address should be down below in the description box because I put it in there. At least I think I did, but it should be in there. I did the thing. Did the thing. Like I said, it wasn't inexpensive by any means, but I, I did the thing. And, uh, I guess I feel like, I feel like I'm legit now as a YouTube subscriber. I don't know. But it's a tax write-off, so, I mean, that's cool. Things being a tax write-off doesn't negate the fact that you have to still put out the money for it first. Hi, Care for JC. Good to see you. But, uh, Zena Marlene, y'all, I finally got a P.O. box. I did the thing. You think I should put the on-air sign in my background? It's so cool. It is hella cool. I just need to configure things in this room so that I have the shelves that I can, you know, I mean, I can buy floating shelves easily enough, but I just need to find a place to put them in this room so that we can actually get it all set up. And yeah, it's, it's all still a work in progress, Kara McAllister, but 
Cheesers. Cheesers. I mean, I we were talking about cheese before, so cheesers. Cheers. Xenu Marlene, whatever the fuck. I don't know, y'all. Partake. I was just thinking maybe I should check how much it will be to send Gertie the Reese, the Gertie and the manger painting too at the same time. I think she would love that, Maya. I think she would absolutely adore that. Do it. I did the thing. I did the thing. Aw, what a good kitty. Thank you, Dawn Gloves, and thank you, Dawn Gloves' kitty. Yay. I say Mew. <laughs> now Karen needs a cheesers emoji. Oh, yeah. Well, I'm glad that the kitty typed to me. That makes me really happy. I love it when the when the felines get all up on the keyboards and like, dur, dur, I'm a human. It cracks me up. So yeah, I sent out uh, I sent out an email quote to uh, to Gretchen for something that she's looking at. I got a certification with a vendor. I brought a whole lot of recycling out to the garage and trash out to the garage and I ran errands and I posted a package to Reese and something to Hef and something to not actually my kid, but actually my kid. Um, and I got a PO box and we picked up groceries and we did things and stuff. And, uh, yeah, I've, uh, it was a busy day. It was a very busy day. And now, what does my sign say tonight? Pamela, my sign is merely showing my new P.O. box. Because I did that today. I got my new P.O. box. Hello, Paolo. I see you. But now, right now, I'm going to grab Ella so she can keep an eye on you because if I don't pee, I'm going to blow up. So. I leave you with Ella. Behave yourselves. they behave. Good. Okay. 
It's okay, Gretchen. She's only frightening when you really set her off. And I think we all kind of have that point where you can set her off, set us off to that point. Yeah, that was quick, Dawn Gloves. I am like the fastest pee in this side of Mississippi. The quiet is slightly disturbing. Fair. Look at you guys enjoying all of the angry Ella. No one moves. She's terrifying. No, you guys behaved yourselves quite well, Janet G. So I'm not worried about it. But I love how I love. You might overnight a cat to me. Okay. I'm here for it. Honestly, I can't wait. I can't wait. I'm super excited, Kara. I'm not going to lie. I love how everybody is enjoying the Ella emojis. Maz, are you seeing this? I sent two photos of Ella to Maz yesterday, and she got back with me today with those emojis. And I clicked my ass all over the YouTubes to try to figure out where the crap I am supposed to upload the damn things, but I did it. And now they're up there and everybody seems so happy to be using them. Honestly, Gretchen, I know for real Ella scares you, but when I was working in the admissions office at an outpatient treatment place, she was a really, really good way to illustrate that sometimes we look pathetic and miserable and sad. When on the inside, we are really, really angry. And sometimes it's okay to let that angry out as long as we're directing it correctly. And I'm not even a provider, okay? I was just the bitch in admissions. I'm just the schmo who's sitting up front taking all of the intake stuff and the incredibly invasive questions that people have to answer when they're doing outpatient treatment. Ella was really handy for that. She hung out in my office the whole time I was working there. We got our windshield replaced today. My brother killed his legs and met me for pizza after, and I kind of set my hair on fire before the pizza. Then we did the adulting nonsense. Well, rock on to that, your adulting nonsense. I'm glad that you got it handled. Good for you. Ella is care for JC's inner bitch twin. That's fair. Please set her off. Barbara, there are now emojis. So people, I don't even have to set her off. Angry Ella is not anywhere near as terrifying as the ice clinking. Okay, Kara. Well, I'm not going to do the ice ASMR tonight, so you're safe for that. Summer is has gone to bed early, and she's the main one that I do the ice ASMR for, so I won't do that. Dawn Gloves, I think I've actually already put it in there. I think it's in there. It should be in the description box now, but if it's not, somebody let me know. I need therapy for my fear of Ella. Oh, honey. I need therapy. La, 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 therapy. I, now I have to send you a video for a K-pop song, Gretchen. Because literally that's in the chorus. Is they're singing, I need therapy. La, 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 therapy. And when I tell you that that was the ringtone, for all of my co-workers when I was working in addiction recovery. <laughs> I ain't lying. She is still freaky when she gets angry. Yes, she is. I don't know if we can have Ella merch 
Maz, because um, she belongs to, uh, she's probably trademarked by another group. I see you, Appa. You may show up as Melody, but I know you are Appa. Hi, baby. I'm so happy you're here visiting with us. Wednesday at Denver, someone at one of the gates had an open mic. It was deliberately tapping on and scratching it with their nails. And I yelled, how do we find out who is doing that? It stopped. Yeah, I would be mad about that. Kara, I love summer. Sorry we disagree about the ice, though. Yes. Yes. Therapy. La, 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 la. Therapy. Our boys. It's true. Oh, Misha! Feeling a whole lot of that Ella anger lately. Really need to unleash the wrath, but I'm scared to heck. Once I do, it'll never stop. Hey, by the way, I needed hearts, but only felt like lurking. I enjoy you all. Honey, we're so happy that you're here. We love you. Yes, it's in there, says Diane Phelan Muller. Thank you so much, Diane. Sarangaya. Appa. Crix needs a sponsorship from Feisty Pets so we can have merch. Yeah, they're called Feisty Pets, and I don't know, I don't know if they'd be willing to even hand any of that over. Involuntary ASMR is the worst word. Maybe some type of parody of her. That's possible. That's possible, Maz. Ooh, you're at Dostella. So proud of my babies. Good for you. I love it. It's not in the channel description. You sent a photo. Okay, thank you, LKF. It should be in the description box. Oh, no, in the description box of the channel, honey, or not of the channel, of, of just right below this video, just right below the video, LKF, it should be in there, not the channel description, but the description box right below the video, it should be in there. You weren't there, but they live streamed. Nice. Many say they get brain tingles, but I get brain itchies. That's fair. And let me look in my emails because it looks like somebody has been sending me emails. Oh, the cheesemonger. Ooh, cheese startup in North Texas thrown away to pigs. Peter Anderson. Why would they throw that to pigs? Everybody hated the camera work, Appa. That sucks. Those look like the beginnings of cheese curds to me. And they look like squeaky cheese and okay on the video it's there but it should be on the channel description too okay bro listen i said it was in the description box below i didn't say it was in the channel description yet i just cut it today cut me a little bit of slack cheese startup in north texas i love oh no who is this you guys, this is Lavette. 
Look at how sweet she is. Oh, we love her. And Miss Sunrise Dawn sent us a photo of her oldest girl, Sasha. And if you are not stunned by the pretty eyes on this girl. Look what a beauty she is. We love her. Oh, Sasha. Thank you so much, everybody. Yeah, seriously. Friend said that part of the startup process, they can't use the cheese. That's interesting, Peter Anderson. I don't even know what to say about that. Because it looks like cheese curds to me. It looks like something that I would eat the hell out of. I'm more the I don't get mad, I get even type. If you get me mad beyond me ignoring you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. ASMR makes Appa irrationally angry. That's fair. You see the P.O. box in the description. Thank you, Mark Hardman. Bless your precious heart. I appreciate that. Oh, Rosalind. You out, baby? Sleep, love, night. Now know something awesome will happen when I'm offline. You know what? It's nothing that you can't catch if you're rocking the replay crew. And maybe something, that awesome thing, will happen to you when you're offline. Good things can happen when you're offline. Sometimes I cry when someone makes me mad and then I just get angrier. Kim White, that feel, I know it vividly. I got you, girl. Yep, I know it. Eventually, I will put it in the channel description too, but right now, LKF, it's in the description box for each individual video, and that's what you get. I just got that shit today. Everybody's giving the loves to all the kippins. They're real particular about how they cheese, apparently, Appa. Well, bedtime for that guy. All right, LKF. Sleep sweet. Rest well. And hopefully we'll see you tomorrow. I gotta go get some quick for you. Do I have an address for you? I don't think I do. All right. You better send me an address, bro. Ooh, Kara McAllister has a new grand dog. Eli's new girlfriend has a dog. You'll send a photo of them both. Oh, my goodness. Grand dogs from Kara McAllister. Look at them. What lovely creatures. Hello, grand dogs. Nice to meet you, grand dogs. My favorite part of Coachella was when one of my friends predicted that Songhua was going to have a boob window, but he actually had a boob veranda. Nice. That's what I have when I wear a bustier. Janet G, you're lazing, laying down and closing your eyes, but you're listening. Nice. Well, I hope that you're able to get some sleep. Hef listens, loves ASMR. 
Listen to a soft-spoken female Japanese spa ASMR. Don't ask me why, but that voice and language just relaxes the fuck out of me. That's fair, Hef. I giggled the other day when neither Tommy nor Johnny could figure out what LKF means. Nice. Okay, so... Oh, Sophia thinks her neighbor is mowing the lawn weirdly early. Yeah, because it's only like 20 to 9 where you are, isn't it, Sophia? So our lovely, our lovely Dawn Gloves. All right, Appa, go try to write. Good luck to you. Whiting. Um, Whiting. Love you. Sarange. Um, our Dawn Gloves. Sorry, I just totally knocked the laptop. Um, decided that for the eclipse, she was going to go someplace real good. Because if we're going to get aliens, you may as well be at Devil's Tower. Yeah, that's where she went. Our Dawn Gloves. Look at her standing in front of Devil's Tower like it ain't no thing. We love it. And I am so happy that you went. And I mean, seriously? Close Encounters poster? Hello? amazing. I'm so happy that you went. That is absolutely incredible. And part of the fun of being a travel advisor is that people call me and message me and like, hey, this is where we're going. Can you help? Even if I can't help, I friggin' love it. And so I'm super happy that she went. And that's amazing. And Mrs. Cricket's mom is really envious. Super envious. Right, Wolf Machine? Hi. Good to see you. 20 to 10 is where you are, Sophia. Why did I... But his wife also picked up a parcel from us at 8 a.m. on a Sunday. I almost flashed her. Nice. Well done. I tried to record video, but my gimbal freaked the F out. Aliens? Maybe. Tech BTs? C'est possible. And your toothbrush is on its way home. Yes! I am so excited for you. That's amazing. Awesome. And because Kara McAllister has deemed it necessary, Zinu Marlene, because she needs more Chardonnay. Kara McAllister is our Chardonnay queen, and she needs another sip of Chardonnay. So, Zena Marlene, to you, Kara McAllister. See? I said it twice. Now you get two. See how I do? Well, oh, your white wine should arrive soon. And Care for JC is sipping cocoa. Yum, 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 yum. My beloveds, we've been going for an hour 45. I haven't done any of the responsible YouTube shit, but I should. So here's how it goes. 
Welcome, all 53 people who are here and watching. If you have not hit the subscribe button yet, as only, what, 14, 17%? 14, 14, almost 15% of you are not subscribed, which is amazing because that percentage has gone considerably smaller. Please feel free to hit the subscribe button. It's fast, it's free, and it doesn't hurt a bit. Subscribe, tickle my notifications bell, and select all. That way you'll know whenever my random ass goes online. Because I never know when my random ass is going online until about five minutes before it happens. So, do the thing. Hit the button. And um, if you would be so kind, please send a like or a dislike, whichever you choose. I'm not here to tell you how to think about anything. So, please send the like or the dislike. YouTube loves the interaction. They The algorithm just eats it all for breakfast. They love it. Um, and uh, yeah, we've got Super Chats open as Ms. Kara McAllister has chosen to illustrate. Thank you so much with your super sticker. Hippo character throwing a blazing uppercut into the air while the word KO appears in the background. Amazing. We also have memberships open. I only have one level. Come join the Dirty Stay Ups. You're welcome here and we'd love to have you. We have lots of fun emojis and eventually I'll be figuring out more crap to add for the members only stuff. Um, I haven't gotten around to that yet because I'm still kind of wrapping around, wrapping my head around the idea that I'm actually a YouTube creator. Because that was by accident entirely. Shit. Anyway, um, yeah, down below. If you wish, you can contact me. Yes, good night, Kimberly Gabaldon. You can contact me at the email address that's down below in the description box right below this video. If you have questions, if you have answers, if you have um, cabins that you want to book on the Zena Marlene cruise, like any of that, it's all down there in the description box in my email. Or you can just say email to Smut at gmail.com. And uh, also down there is the GoFundMe for KK's funeral expenses. She was a, uh, a fierce anti-Scientology protester, and she was taken out one day by somebody who was distracted driving. They were texting, texting and driving at the same time. Please don't do that. Please look out. Please see motorcycles. And if you are so inclined, you can certainly help KK in uh, KK's family with her funeral expenses. Because dying is expensive, turns out. Also down there is my, if you wish to support the channel in a way that YouTube doesn't take 30% of my PayPal and the Venmo that Denver Stevo made me get is down there in the uh, description box. and. My brand spanking new P.O. Box. In case you want to send me fan mail or hate mail or baby powder described, uh, disguised as anthrax or, you know, like whatever. You have no idea the care that I will take when it comes to opening a package from somebody I've never received before. I'm a little ridiculous. But I'm very, very cautious. So, 
probably don't fuck about with that, huh? Thanks. Anyway, Misha. Oh, Vidimai, you'll send me some. Right. And you know what? It might even get here, Alan, before we leave for the trip. <laughs> I know what Australia Post is like. Trust me, I've sent packages back and forth to friends of mine in South Australia. But um, yeah, no, I would uh, I would love to hear from all of you. And I love hearing from all of you. I love the emails. I love the messages in here. Please feel free to leave comments below after this video. If you're on replay crew, whatever, I love the comments. Al loves the comments and uh, we like having you all pipe up. So yeah, Australia Post kind of sucks. Um, if you have a channel and you want to promote it, put something in the comments below this video. So then all we have to do is click and we can subscribe. Easy peasy, George and Wheezy. Um, no, Sophia, I don't think you can love that emoji too much. I dig it too. Anyway, my beloveds, thank you so much. Thank you so much for hanging out with me tonight. Thank you for consistently inspiring me to get shit done, get it handled, and uh, calm my tit. Just one. The other one's the party tit. Um, so that I can actually hang out with all of you and not be a raging bitch face. Maybe just a moderate bitch face. Hello, workaholic panda, hand pink waving. Good to see you. Thank you so much for hanging out with us tonight. And thank you everyone for hanging out with us tonight. I hope that you rest well, that you have a good day, a good afternoon, a good evening. I hope that you sleep sweet and rest well. Eat delicious foods. Misha just sent me an email. Yay. Dawn just sent me a critter pic. Yes, please, by all means, send us North Sea photos from today. Sophia, I'll put them on the stream tomorrow. Rest well, everyone. Have a good day. Be kind, please. Have boundaries like a motherfucker. Peace to you.